So this is an interesting subject. I've talked about this before, age gap relationships. And it seems that people get really offended. I'm not quite sure. I think people tend not to be so happy in their own lifestyles, which is why they find it easier to pick with this lifestyle that I've seen really successful amongst many of my friends and even family members. So let's talk about it. We'll be right back after this. So, younger women who date older men. Now, some people, they just have this twisted thinking that it's all about the amount of money that the men make, and it's really not. And then some people think, oh, it's because he's got a big house, he's got a big car, he's got nice things. It's never about those things. Maybe for some people, but for the majority of people who are looking for real relationships, it's more about the man being mentally stable. Some of the problems that women run into are that men that they deal with are just not mentally stable. Game players, exploring. Women have always had a very difficult time in history with trying to get men to commit to a relationship. So some women venture out to men who have already played those games, who have already had those experiences, who have already realized that these are not things that end well. And so now that the man seems to have exhausted all of his foolish options, so to speak, now he's ready for something real. But it, it's taken some men many, many years to progress to that point. It shouldn't have to, though. But for some men, it just takes longer. So when a woman comes around and she's sincerely interested in a man who happens to be older, the things that she's looking for now are things that matter. Now, she could be young. I mean, there's some women, 25, 26 years old, they're young. But they've already played the field, so to speak, in their own realm of their own mindset. And they've been unhappy at what they found. So in this particular case, they're looking for some stability. They want to have marriages and relationships that last 20, 30, 40, 50 years. That person that they're with is the person they plan to be with for the rest of their lives. But to find that type of commitment in a man sometimes just seems very difficult. You know, it's hard to find real love. It's hard to find real love, just like in today's world, it's hard to find a good job. Just like a lot of people have ventured off and gone to college, and then they come out of college and they don't even work in the fields that they study in. It's the same thing that's happening within relationships. So women are looking for that stability. They're looking for that peace of mind. They're not looking for this stuff because many women know how to make their own stuff. They know how to make their own money. They know how to buy their own cars, buy their own homes. They have these things. What they want is that stability, and that's what they're looking for. But then, on the other hand, you know, some people just have this anger towards other people trying to be happy. Maybe people should look a little more at themselves. And I found it quite interesting that in one of the oldest books written, there was a king and a queen. Now, she wasn't a queen when he married her, but she became a queen after he married her. And this woman was half the man's age. And in this ancient book, it gives details that really talk about how wonderful of a marriage that they had. Age is never really a factor to be considered when it comes to relationships. It just was never one of those things. There are other more meaningful things that people contribute within relationships that make them worthwhile. And some people just go through phases where those things are just simply not appreciated or they're not targeted or they are misunderstood. So then you have the man who people say, well, he's only dating a younger woman because she's beautiful, she's sexy, she's got a nice body. It's a lot more substance in relationships that's required other than the, the things that are just not real or the things that tend to change over periods of time. So in the case of men, it's not always what you think. And if you've never tried a relationship with an age gap relationship, it might be something you might want to explore if you're looking for that real thing. Because the differences, remember how we spoke earlier in life about how opposites attract? Well, as opposites attract, that's true. Hey, what could be more opposite than age? An older man, a younger woman, an older woman, a younger man. What could be more opposite than that? However, people are making these relationships work. Why? Because of their interests and their intents. So before you start judging your friends or your family members or being very negative about people who are having successful relationships, think about what is it that you're looking for 
in a relationship. A lot of times I find that the people who complain the most about age gap relationships are people who tend not to have very good relationships themselves or people who are very concerned about the future of their relationships. People say things like, well, I hope they're dating or marrying or their relationship is for the good reasons. What is the good reason? Is it the reason that you're deciding for other people? Because if you took that energy and put it into your own relationship, you might actually have a better relationship. I'm not here trying to give out counsel. I'm not trying to scold people. But it's just ridiculous as to how people want to have their own choices, but they don't want other people to be able to make their choices. And then they're just a group of angry women. A good friend of mine who is dating an older woman, older woman, younger guy, older woman, but only older by like five years, five years older. Not much of a difference, right? But he asked me about it. I went out with him. He asked me about it. And this is one thing that I realized is that when women tell stories about their exes and they get angry, something's not right with that. And that is like a red flag. And so this woman was telling a story about her ex. And as she told the story, it's like she relived all those emotions and got angry. Remember, emotions are not facts. Yet when my friend tells stories, about his challenging relationships, he just tells a story for an input of information. And yet he doesn't blow over and get upset. Those are difficult imbalances to kind of merge together when it comes to two people. It's really difficult to put two people together that think differently about the past. So my whole point is that stability, that mental stability, that peace of mind that most people look for when it comes to relationships What's wrong with this? Nothing is wrong with people having peace of mind. Now, your peace may not be their peace. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments about uh, negativity things when it comes to relationships. But those are your opinions. Just understand that your opinion is only good for you. It's not good to serve the, the, the well-being of other people. But it's okay. So as we continue to wrap this up, I'm talking about a subject that is just very interesting, uh, very rewarding, a very powerful subject. Just let people live their lives and be who they are. I mean, look at your life. If something went bad in your life, how many people does it affect, really? It may affect those in your household. If you're a man and a woman living together as a married couple and something goes wrong, it may even affect your children. But outside of that, how many people does it affect? So why are people worried? Why would you be worried about being negative about a relationship that doesn't add any quality to your life at all? If a younger man wants to marry an older woman, I've got friends with amazing relationships like this. Why is that a problem? Or if a younger woman wants to be with an older man, this is her preference. She's not looking for a father because she already has a father. And that young man is not looking for a mother because he already has a mother. And it's weird for people to think this way when in many societies, they don't even have a thought about it. If you're compatible, you're compatible. If you can make it work, you make it work. It's really quite simple. But then if you go back and you look into your own life and you look into the patterns of your own life, what's going on with your life that make you so unhappy about how other people live? Listen, there's nothing wrong with an older man dating a younger woman. And there's nothing wrong with a younger woman dating an older man. It's just a different lifestyle choice that people have made. Rejoice. Be happy for people who are happy. Be happy and be kind to yourself. We'll see you on the next video.